I remember I was in kindergarten, so I'm like five years old, mind you. The first thing that I can truly remember writing, it was a little essay on the topic of, if you had a million dollars, what would you buy? And I said that I would use that million dollars to buy squirrels, because I love squirrels. <laughs> and so that's my first ever memory of writing. You know, I didn't actually have to do that much preparation for this. Most of Star Wars Made Easy is off the top of my head. You know, I've been a Star Wars diehard for most of my life. I mean, not just watching the films, but I've read well over 100, maybe 150 Star Wars novels going back to when I was like 11, 12 years old. So for me, I mean, it's 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 like I didn't really have to do a lot of specific research for this book because I've kind of lived it. I mean, it's sort of like just my my job in general. Like I love entertainment. I love culture so much that if, if I weren't being paid to do it, I'd be involved in it in some way anyway. So for this, it's like it was just a natural fit because I... I read all these things for fun, just <laughs> to begin with. Well, I think it's important to have a quiet environment, but you know what's funny is that I found over the years that listening to music can really help. So in writing Star Wars Made Easy, you know, I'm a lifelong Star Wars fan and I love the music. So of course, listening to John Williams' Star Wars scores for all the movies, plus Michael Giacchino's amazing score for Rogue One, really inspired me throughout. And actually, I found that even just in my day job at the BBC now, I, I listen to music a lot to just sort of give me motivation, you know, screen out external noise, certainly, but it it can allow you to really focus on the task at hand. Rather than music being a distraction, it really can allow you to just laser focus yourself onto what exactly you need to do.